chose to work on I Am Able mainly because I thought that it would be an amazing opportunity to get to work with an individual on a daily basis. I chose it because it was the most interesting project that we were offered and it was for a specific person so I thought it would be cool to work with a specific individual working for one goal so I chose a project to build a bike. I'm Ashley Pachter, I'm a bioengineering major, I'm a senior, and I'm on the I Am Able team. My name is Murtaza Raza, I'm a bioengineer at Penn State, graduating in 2011, and I am part of the I Am Able project. I Am Able is a foundation that is run by Chris and Gretchen Kegg, and they're amazing people. Chris currently, um, he has a disability and that has motivated him to start this great foundation where they encourage other people with disabilities to live an active lifestyle. Craig Dietz is a man who was born without arms or legs. He wants to compete in triathlon and swims in it. He's done the swimming part and now we're building a bike so he could do the biking part. So we chose a recumbent tricycle because it puts him in a position where he's He's sitting like you'd normally be sitting, the pedaling's out in front, and the steering would be right below you. And it's the best position to modify. You can't, he couldn't ride an actual bicycle. And our other options were, were uh, tricycles that had two wheels in the back and one wheel in the front, but that wouldn't be as stable. And if the bike tips, it's a big issue, especially for him. So we had to choose the most stable bike, and that was the bike with two wheels in the front and one in the back. For steering, what we did was we created a shaft that would move linearly for him, so instead of having to, the way the bike is set up to turn it, it's like an outward, and it, it comes off the bike, and it's like a six inch outward move, movement that he probably wouldn't be able to do. So we had an attachment in the back set up, a rod that comes out, and now it's, it's completely linear. Pedaling is the biggest issue, because taking the motion that he can do with his leg, which is basically just up and down, and converting that into rotational movement, was probably the biggest challenge and the way we did it is we took a normal crank of a bike and added an attachment which sits on a pedal which has springs inside of it so as it goes around the springs will push it and give him that extra momentum that he needs for the, the pedal to come back and swing to a place where he can push down again. In the actual building of the bike the majority of the work I did was on the actual molds they're essentially his prosthetics for the actual bike and they're important to conform perfectly to both his leg and arm limbs in order for him to operate the bike. We, we wanted each of his limbs to have an individual function. So his upper right limb would be steering, his bottom right would be pedaling, his upper left would be shifting and that left braking, what are we, we going to do for braking? And we thought, why not put a head mount so if he puts his head back, that'll break. So we made a head mount that comes up and he pries pressure with the back of his head, break. Shifting, we built a bracket that comes out from underneath the seat and is angled so it's just sitting right by his, his left limb and it's going to be a change of gear on a bike, it's a little click. For a safety precaution, we put training wheels, I don't really want to say training wheels, I'm saying more like stabilizers that we built straight off the off the frame of the bike that are connected to the hat seats. It's very rigid. If the bike ever does tip, it'll stop on its side and come right back to center. I'm so happy with the way the project came out. For future teams, I would say if you're working on a project like this or any project at all, the best thing to do is just try to learn as much as you can and be really involved in every aspect of the project, even if you don't know what's going on in, in that particular area if you're not the most knowledgeable. Just try to get involved and learn as much as you possibly can. The biggest lesson I learned from this was probably from watching Craig. Just because he does everything on his own. And it's astonishing watching him just because he has no arms and no legs. <laughs>